fascinating. This guy is seasoned. The axe with those seasoned, he puts his hands up and then he grabs, you know, the counter or the trash counter, whatever it is. He's making sure he doesn't fall over. This guy knows what he's doing. And this is why I say this guy chose peace. So the video is titled Hatchet Wielding New York Man Released Without Bail. This was out September 20th. A New York man was caught on camera wielding a hatchet inside McDonald's and was later released without bail. Hey guys, welcome to Bad Security, Security Guard News. It's your boy, a passenger security guard. Today we have a story. It comes from NBC News. It's straight out of New York, like many of my stories, because New York is, is a hot mess right now. Um, the story is about an axe wielder. His name is Michael Palacio. I really feel that the media is portraying him, portraying him and people on social media as the bad guy when it's not so clear, you know, black and white. Uh, I'm a little bit torn as far as the story because I have sympathy for people in the streets and the struggle, man. And though this is not a story about security, it's a story about self-defense. It's a story that highlights what can happen at a security, you know, post. Buying video going viral. Bro, please, bro, back up. Oh. It shows a man wielding a hatchet and confronting customers at a downtown Manhattan McDonald's. The situation escalating after a fight Friday night. Oh. The video starts in the middle of that fight between four men. 31-year-old Michael Palacios appears to throw a punch and then getting punched dozens of times by three guys. Before Palacios reaches into his backpack and pulls out that axe. He then smashes a nearby table and shatters a glass divider before confronting his attackers around the restaurant. <laughs> appearing to hit one in the head while wielding that hatchet in his other hand even getting in the face of a woman visibly shaken as he smashes the table she's sitting at and continues to yell after two minutes palacios grabs a bike and exit the fast food chain saying <laughs> according to police victims did not report any injuries palacios was later found by officers and arrested on charges of criminal mischief three counts of menacing and and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon. But he was soon released without needing to post bail because the offenses are misdemeanors covered by... Michael Palacio, he chose peace that day. He could have ended these guys. He was a frustrated man. I don't understand the situation. All I know is that he started, there was a fist fight that it seems that he started the first swing. I don't know why. And then it was three against one because fair fighting doesn't exist anymore. You know, he probably comes from the old school of, oh, I have a problem with you, you have a problem with me, just let's, let's do this now. Not that you bring your homies kind of thing. Now, they're making him sound and look like he's a crazy person. Sometimes acting crazy is good for self-defense. Why? Because it makes everybody else scared of, uh, of you because you're unpredictable. The other thing I want to highlight is that if you notice his axe, he's not using the edge part to hit anybody with it or hit anything with it. He's using the blunt part and he didn't hit anybody with his axe. This was a man who clearly chose peace. He chose to show these kids a lesson. And he, you know, he snuffed one a couple of times. That's why I smiled because that reminds you of me. When I was, you know, in my teens, I got beat up once, right, by an adult. And it was some, off some stupid stuff. There was snowball fights, whatever. This guy picked me up and I was gonna come at him with, with freaking, you know, uh, sticks or whatever, or bat, I can't remember. Anyway, he picks me up, he throws me on the hood of a car and he smacks me like three times. Like, you need to say, respect your elders. Boom, boom. It was over some stupid nonsense. Now, something that's very funny I also wanna highlight is the female. The female's reaction. Now check this out. This part is very, very important. Look at this female. She's holding this guy back. She's holding his elbows up. I think this is very important to highlight. Why? Because women can get men killed. Women 
you know, or friends will try to fear and be in the middle of an altercation, not understanding the rules of engagement, not understanding the consequences of coming between two combative individuals. Oh, I want to save this guy. He's my boyfriend. He's my brother. You know, I want to save this individual. No, no, you don't take away the guy's weapons. Even if he's at the wrong, you're going to lose them. You're going to lose them. Like, I don't know who, who's right or who's wrong in this video. But you clearly have a guy with an axe. You clearly have another guy. that All he has is his fist. And you're taking that away from him. And you're getting between him and the axe wielder. You know, and you give them your back. So, so, like, you just completely put your belly up. You completely just gave up on life. Now, this part right here, I find very, very funny and fascinating. This guy is seasoned. The axe wielder season, he put his hands up and then he grabs, you know, the counter or the trash counter, whatever it is. He's making sure he doesn't fall over. This guy knows what he's doing. And this is why I say this guy chose peace. His chin for the most part is going down. He's just breathing. He's frustrated. He's not hitting nobody back. This is the part where these guys, some, one of these guys has to say, yo, we're going to die. We're going to die. We just hit this guy with like a dozen shots. You know, we're three guys against one. We're going to freaking die. And then this kid just comes up at him. You know, he's about to pop the trunk. He's about to pop the trunk like Kevin, like Kevin Hart says all the time in his jokes, right? He's about to pop the book back. Why are you going towards a guy you just beat up with your homies and he's reaching into his back? What are you going to do? What are you going to say to convince him to not take whatever he has from there? Nothing. None that. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You stepped up to a grown ass man you jumped him you couldn't take him down and then when you see the wild side in him you become a little bitch yo I, i'm sorry for the rap man it just just freaking pisses me off i hate seeing things like this this guy look at this guy look at the way his posh he moves he knows what he's doing palacio knows what he's doing he chose to teach him a lesson in life he probably saved their life those smacks is nothing compared to what the streets could really do to these kids he just saved their lives. Palacio chose peace. He's not the bad guy. He's not the good guy. But he, he's just an entity right there in this video. But he taught everyone their lesson. Everyone they learned. And, you know, we should be happy Palacio decided to not use the edge of that tool. One thing I want to get clear. Violence is not good. But I understand Palacio's uh, thought process in the sense that if I don't stand up to these guys now, what's gonna happen when I meet them in a subway station? What happens when I meet them in subway sandwiches? What happens when I'm wearing Dunkin' Donuts and I might come across these three guys? Are they gonna jump me again? Is it no longer gonna be, you know, just uh, you know, just fist fight this time? What if next time they see me, they're holding the axe? What if they're holding the gun? There's something territorial and primal about what happened in this video. I think it was very important for security to understand that everything is black and white. You gotta really question what you're really willing to do for your post, you know? But that's it, that's that guys. If you found value in this video, please press like. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Was Palacio correct? What did you think was going on in his mind? I honestly think that he was marking the territory when he destroyed the, the, the property, right? He was showing them like, yo, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You need to know how to recognize death when it's in your face. All right, that's it. That's that, guys. Ciao. Look at the mucho.